Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Some more Bondo and Sand in action. What kind of fun is this? Man, y'all was missing out on all this. Fun. <laughs> Alright people, I wanted to show you guys something. I had to do. I knew that spot didn't look right. Down here is like that too. See there's a gap right here meaning this part gets fat then it got skinny again then it got fat. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay. It was worse down there at the bottom. I got my sheetrock or my, this is just one of them wallpaper tools. It's really flexible. I like using this thing. And I brought it up here and sure enough there was just a, a low spot there. So I filled that and then I had to do something that I wasn't planning on. Using my big old block sander. Okay, there's only one way to get stuff flat. That's rough paper and a big old straight block. You know, I got it pretty well. But it's still a little bit of a gap here. So I take one paper right here is where it starts as I go back I pretty much got the most of it now but uh, that spot's still a little low see how it dips down and that's not supposed to be like that I'll show you more on the other side and flip it over right quick And this side's kind of like that too. See anywhere where you can see daylight? It's not supposed to be like that. So there, as we come down, there's a little more. It kind of just comes down. We'll just mark this as we go. This side ain't as bad as the other side. The other side had a big old low spot, man. See, I could also bend this thing around that contour and pull it up. And sure enough, man, all this right here. This is this is right, this is low, and then that's right again. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna fix that into we want to fix that side too. And so I can find, kind of feel it with my hand. And uh, so we're going to fix it. Got some good news though. Paul shipped off my model today, my plastic model. So I kind of want to be halfway ready for panel lines when it gets here. I still got a couple days. So I got a bunch of sand to do. I still got them wing inlets to sand. They're pretty close. So they're, the shape of them is right. So I'm gonna have to mess with the shape. Just sand them a couple times. Prime them. And then be ready for the panel lines. I ordered me some tape. I found a place to order. 64th inch wide tape people that's about as thick as it is wide that is some skinny skinny pa panel line tape i used uh uh 16th inch tape on the b1 and, you know i thought that was kind of fat you know but it's, it was kind of hard to find that 64th inch stuff but if I, I found it, anyone else looking for it, send, in, send me an email, I'll send you a link. We got some pretty cool stuff on there. On that website I found some Fowler Flat kits, 
You know, because uh, this thing has Fowler flaps on it too. I know we're not even ready for flaps, but I found some some kits that are pretty cool. They got them for P38s and for everything else. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is between P38s and and other stuff, but I really didn't get into looking at that. You know. But I put all my I put my email address on all my videos now. So you guys that are watching this from our website, you can go to YouTube and look me up and uh, send me an email and I'll send you a link. Or just email me at rmoore dot com or 4169.com m or rmore4169 at aol.com Now I'll send you a link. <coughs> yeah, that's going to look a whole lot better. Now I have to stick my block sander on there, but you know, it's a rough, at, rough grit. It pretty much sands it to where there's big chunks fall to the floor. Then I take my sponge and I mop it up so uh, I don't track it in the house and mom will get mad at me. <laughs> That's why you like using this rough old paper, man. It's some 36 grit. That's rough stuff. But then my sanding chunks, dust is so big it falls straight down and I clean it up right quick. I got to mix me up a little more get to this little spot it's here. I have to block that out right quick and have us a nice straight fuselage. We don't want no dips, no weaves. We want this thing to look good, man. You know what I mean? Because once it's molded, it's too late. And I don't want no pondo on my finished part. I want to be able to pull that out the mold and paint it. You know, a little bit of work to my seams, very little, and paint that bad boy. You know what I mean? Butch don't call me and say, no, 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 that's supposed to be there. <laughs> but, oh, I'm pretty sure it ain't. But if it is supposed to be there, I'm sure I'll get a phone call. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> 